Kuorogumi, is a wood joint used for joining rafters and purlins. Let's take a look at the processing of Kuorogumi. The timber on the left is the rafter. The rounded log on the right is the purlin resting on the rafter. First, a center line is marked on the rafter. This is a downward mark from the top end of the rafter. Marking where the purlin sits. This section is then processed to fit with the purlin. This ink is for marking where to dig the pit. Tools such as saws, planes, chisels, and adzes are used. With an adz, the rounded log is shaped into an octagonal form. The ink pot is lowered and a perpendicular line is drawn on the purlin's end. The ink pot is not only used for marking, but as a plumb bob. The ink is drawn onto the purlin. This part will be where the purlin is joined with the rafter. This fits into the notch on the rafter. To level the surface, it is shaved with an adze. Planing is done with a plane. Next, the cross section of the purlin is transferred onto the rafter. This board is called a template and is used to transfer the cross section. Aligning the center lines, the extension lines of the purlin's faces are transferred onto the template. Aligning the template with the dropped corner 
the extension lines, are transferred onto the rafter. This transfers the cross section of the purlin onto the rafter. Along the transferred corner, cuts are made on the surface. Carve around with a chisel, then trim the entire piece with an adze. The entire surface is leveled with a chisel. The center line of the purlin's cross section is drawn. This is the part where the groove for the purlin is carved. Make diagonal cuts with a saw. The groove for the purlin is carved with a hammer and chisel. The parts where the purlin fits are smoothed with an adze. Finishing touches are done with a chisel. Processing the purlin Notches are made with a hole saw on the part resting on the rafter, then split using a hammer and chisel like a wedge. Further processing of the purlin, only a cross chisel, is used here.
Finishing with a chisel, the purlin is completed. Joining the purlin and rafter. Kuorogumi represents a complex jointing technique between rafters and purlins.